Now let us solve some of the questions which have come in gate exam. Okay. So the questions which have been asked in gate exam are quite simple as compared to the level of the questions which I am discussing for you. So I am discussing almost the worst case for you questions will come easier to the level which we are doing. Okay. So be assured you will definitely be able to solve almost all the questions of digital of digital electronics in your coming gate exam. Now the first question is we have to implement A, B plus C, D and it is asking how many minimum two input NAND gates are required. Just one second question you have to read and then simply you can conclude three NAND gates. Any function of the format A, B plus C, D can be designed using three NAND gate and any function of the format A plus B dot C plus D can be designed using three NOR gates. Come to the next question. Now this structure is given to us again a very familiar structure for us. It is asking you the output of the logic gate, this logic gate output. Those who don't know the conclusion will take some amount of time to solve this question but we will solve it again in one second. Two NOR gates output given to a NOR gate output is of the format A plus B dot C plus D. A plus B dot C plus D just you have to take care that your last input is not D but it is D complement. So instead of A plus B dot C plus D instead of A plus B dot C plus D correct answer would be A plus B dot C plus D complement. Again just one second question. Come to the third question. We have to implement A plus B C using two input gates of only one type. This is again an easy question but a good question. Just see the words of the question. It is not saying you to design using minimum number of two input NAND gates or two input NOR gates but it is saying you have to implement it using two input gates of only one type. Means it wants you to try for both NAND gate and NOR gate and whichever answer will be the lesser one that will be the final answer. We have to try to implement it using gate of only one type and that minimum count is asked in the question. So now I will try to design it using minimum number of NAND gates also and using minimum number of NOR gates as well. So A plus B C, A plus B C can be simply A plus B C can be simply written as A dot A plus B dot C can be designed using three NAND gates again easy question. Then A plus B C using minimum number of NOR gates. A plus B C using minimum number of NOR gates. Here I am using again a basic distributive law which we have not studied now but definitely before the gate exam you will be very confident with that distributive law. With the help of distributive law I can write A plus B C as a plus B dot A plus C. This is actually distributive law I am using which we are going to study in Boolean algebra. Right now we don't know but definitely before the gate exam you will be very confident with this distributive law. So again it is of the format A plus B dot C plus D can be implemented can be implemented using three NOR gates can be implemented using three NOR gates. So either you go with NAND gate or you go with NOR gate coincidentally answer is same for this question. So the final answer will be three NOR gates. Let us say you don't know this distributive law for this particular type. Let's say you don't know distributive law. Then what is the approach you can take here is that see here 
a plus b c now this can be written as a plus b c double complement from de morgan's law it can be written as a complement dot b c whole complement dot whole complement now this b c whole complement using de morgan's law can be written as b complement plus c complement whole complement now i can write a complement b complement plus a complement c complement whole complement now i can write a plus b whole complement again de morgan's law plus a plus c whole complement and this whole complement now it is easy to find that a plus b whole complement a plus b whole complement can be designed using a nor gate in the same way a plus c whole complement can also be designed using nor gate and then finally with the third one we can design the given expression that is a plus b c so again answer is 3 nor gates answer is 3 nor gates okay so this is the solution now next question number 4 it is asked to implement a b complement c and it is asked how many two input nand gates are required if you remember we have already solved this question in the concept part let us solve it again so expression is a b complement c can be written as ac dot b complement can be written ac dot b complement now for this a dot c we need two nand gate for this not operation i need one nand gate and finally for this dot operation i need two nand gate again so the final answer is 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 answer is 5 nand gate answer is 5 nand gate now coming to the fifth question we have to design ab plus c complement d complement using the given structure you have to find out which gates are g1 and g2 options are also given to you now what is the expected output expression expected output expression is ab plus c complement d complement first basic approach can be very simple just try for each and every option for which option we are getting the required expression that is the basic way of solving this question but we can definitely save our time using the conclusions we have discussed so far so now ab plus c complement d complement is required and this input is given as c and d so what is the output of this expression this is c plus d whole complement or you can say c complement dot d complement you can say c complement dot d complement now i am already getting c complement dot d complement so what i can conclude so far this must be an or gate and this input should be a dot b if this is an or gate and this input is a dot b i will get ab plus c complement d complement which is my required expression so one thing i can conclude this must be an or gate for this input should be a dot b so output of gate g1 should be a dot b
For output of the gate to be A dot B, let us see what which gate this should be. So, inputs are A complement dot B complement. On the basis of the discussion we had so far, I can see if this is a NOR gate. If this is a NOR gate, what is the output expression? A complement plus B complement whole complement. This is equal to A double complement dot B double complement and this is equal to A dot B. So, this is A dot B and this is C complement D complement, this is OR gate. So, first gate should be NOR gate and second gate should be OR gate. So, option A is the correct answer.